Hey, Long Riders! Welcome to another Friday tying video where you get flies to catch fish, not just fishermen, and some unique originals. So if you don't want to miss any of our videos, subscribe. Okay, we got a size 12 caddis hook in there and a 1 8 bead and we're adding some lead wire well it's not really lead wire but non lead lead wire now I like to push the lead wraps together as I close and as close to the bead as I can I'm going to start the thread right behind the bead. I'm going to push the wire up to the bead. Careful you don't push it through the bead and block your eyelet like I did. Actually, yeah, it didn't. It ended up going off to the side, so it didn't affect my ability to tie this fly on. But careful you don't do it, and, you know. Have your eye, if your hook at all, so you can't tie it on. You're gonna start to beat up there, and that wire, you're gonna lay that down across them wraps of uh, lead, so that they don't separate and you waste a lot of tying thread. This will help you fill in the gaps quicker. Use less tying thread. What you're gonna do is you're filling in. That's your body, your fly. That's the worm part of the body is your tying thread. So build your body, make it look like a, how you want it to look. Now you're gonna rib this. I didn't talk much about the color of this thread. This color of this thread is not written on it, but it is really close to like a light chartreuse, which is really the color of a Grandum Caddis. And this wire is sunfire yellow. And this makes, I mean, this will make this fly look so much like the random caddises that will be coming off soon. Now, when you get the wire up, right up to the bead, you're going to put some wraps in front of it, wraps behind it. And twist that off like a helicopter, break it off. Okay, now we got some UV peacock. Man, if you don't have any of this, try and find some in your local shop or you probably buy it on Amazon. UV peacock, this stuff is amazing. I'm gonna tie this in right behind the bead. Okay, now you can tie this in right behind the bead. Uh, if you don't have UV peacock, you can use regular peacock. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference, but anyway. Uh, you're going you're gonna to kind of tie this backwards. So you're going to tie it in behind the bead and move your tying thread almost about a bead length back behind. So you see I wrapped it back, and then you're going to tie it off back there behind the the uh, peacock and then you can just use your thread it'll go blend right in with the body and you can whip finish this off but I'm not done yet with you guys now I'm sure you're like geez Donald does everything you tie have to have a bead no it don't and now we're going to show you how to tie this without a bead Okay, we're going to speed through a lot of this really fast because it's basically the same thing. You don't put a bead on. You're going to add your lead wire, build your body up with the thread.
Okay, we're gonna rib it, get up next to the uh, eye, tie the peacock, and then you're gonna do the same thing. You're going away from the eye of the hook when you wrap the peacock. It's an old technique my one old instructor taught me about tying in, in backwards. You can, you can, tie away from the eye of the hook. Now this fly will be great for you guys if you have like a heavy nymph one let's say using a big black stone fly and you want to have a dropper you don't really want to bead necessarily it depends on how you're fishing the rigs which I'll be going through them with you soon like this next deadly fly video hope you enjoyed that and I'm gonna bring to you ones with beads and without beads ones without livey legs and legs so you have options keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish this one that you all have a good day see you next Friday <laughs>